Hey guys, Matt here, and today I'm going to show you how to put this boat on that ram. you'll need a ladder rack at the back of the ute to be able to lift the boat up onto. Uh, I picked this one up for 300 bucks off eBay. Next trip is off to Bunnings to get the rest of the materials to complete the build. Found 1800 50x50 50 RHS fence posts from Bunnings. They're alloy, powder coated black and end caps already included ready to go. Perfect. Only thing it is had, had a fence Paling uh, brackets on it that we just removed. The rest was ready to go. Measured up to the headboard, measured the center, measure out, bolted in. Teflon slides, boat slides used to on the rear ladder rack and on the front headboard for the boat to be able to slide on. I bought an ATV winch from uh, super cheap for 170 bucks. Uh, already came wired, ready to go, plug and play. Just had to bolt onto the headboard with some U bolts. Next step was to make the bridles for the boat, for the lifting itself. Already had some three mil stainless steel wire. Bunnings have this in lengths or rolls, up to you how much you need to buy. But it's only a couple of bucks a meter. Uh, they got all the fittings. I think it was about $30 total for all the fittings that we needed, crimps the lot. Then fitted 100mm stainless eye bolts to the edge of the boat, bolted them in for the bridles to connect to. Connect the rear of the boat, safety lanyard straps to the ladder rack on both sides to allow the boat to pivot when it gets to the top point. Once they're on, connect the winch rope and wind her up. Now the boat's up, it'll be strapped, we'll strap around the ladder rack over the back of the boat and we'll strap over the front brace over the boat, pull it down. I know a lot of you will be thinking that you've got to empty your boat out to have it on your roof to store your battery, to store your binami and to store, store your rods, um, tackle gear, everything like that. What we're going to do is some, we've got some cupboards or um, shelving in the boat, we're going to put some doors on that. So it'll keep everything in there and we'll store it together. Got rid of the deep cycle battery, got a little lithium battery that we'll put in the boat that will um, be able to be plugged into the, bat the car and stored and charged while we're on the roof and while we're going. Um, number two, we've also put our motor mount on the back of the ute because there's no point putting it on your draw bar or your caravan. When you have your boat, where's your caravan? You don't want to figure out how to store it later on. So. The old big 15 horsepower stuck on the back of the ute.
Thanks for checking it out. I hope you guys will be able to build your own or took something away from this video and definitely get one built cheaper than what you can buy it. When I looked around, it was anywhere from 1,400 to three grand, three and a half in some cases. So I'll put a listing of my prices and what I paid um, in the comments. Check it out.